Garage Band for Mac has about half a dozen or so project templates that let you jump right into a project with specific track types already set up for you. It's definitely handy for some users, but did you know that there's a way to set up and save your own custom templates? Here's how it works. To set up my own custom template, first of all, I'll need to open a new empty project and set up the tracks that I want to be present in my custom template. I'm going to create an ambient template for when I want to make some more down-tempo music. So I'll set up a couple of MIDI software instrument tracks and load up some of my favourite synth patches from GarageBand's Alpha Waves sound pack. Then I'll add a drummer track, again I'll set it up with a more laid back, chilled out drummer and drummer pattern. And lastly I'll add in a guitar audio track that has a clean amp preset loaded and the ultimate dreamy reverb plugin Valhalla Supermassive loaded up and ready to go on it as a third party plugin. All of that stuff will be saved when I save this template. In fact, any plugins, effects, EQ settings, all that kind of stuff that's added to these tracks will be saved to the DIY template. With all the tracks set up the way I want them to be when starting a new project, I next need to select Save As from the File menu in the toolbar. I'll name this one Ambient Template just to keep things simple. Next, I'll choose to save the file to my desktop, which will make the next step a little bit easier. Now, if I close the project and then quit GarageBand completely, you can see the file is right there on my desktop. What I can do is, is drag this single project template file into my dock and then have access to it whenever I want to start a new ambient type of project. Or if I were to go ahead and create multiple DIY templates for different genres, I could add a new folder called GarageBand Project Templates and drag that folder into my dock instead. I can then add different individual template project files to this file and then have access to as many different templates as I want when I want them. I really wish Apple would allow us to add our own custom templates to the Templates tab in GarageBand itself. But this is the next best thing, and it's a really quick and easy way to get a project started. Speaking of quick and easy, if you want a really straightforward way to import and play your own samples in GarageBand for Mac, watch this next. <laughs> 